When? When will they? When do you think they'll get here? You, uh, a year. Just one year from now. <laughs> Damn it. One year before even stronger warriors arrive. You two have no hope of beating them. Enjoy what little time you... <laughs> I... I see. That's pretty much it. Come on, Goku! Hang in there! It's not like you to give up so easily! <clears throat> Trillin, you know... Uh, yeah, but... Don't you worry! We're gonna bring you back really soon! <laughs> Thank you... <sighs> Goku! What the? He's gone! Interesting. I bet Kami has something to do with this. Eh? Well, I guess we can put our minds at ease if Kami's involved. You guys need to get the Dragon Balls. Kami doesn't possess the power needed to bring someone back to- Also, Goku's kid will be coming with me for the time being. Eh, what? Uh. You, you're kidding, right? What are you gonna do with him? With a little training and the right teacher, that kid could be capable of serious power. We're going to need all the power we can get before those two Saiyans show up in a year's time. Me training this little runt is our best shot to stand a chance. Once Goku's revived, tell him he'll get his son back and in better shape than he left him. Meanwhile, on a planet far, far from Earth. Raditz! The bastard went and got himself killed! He always was an embarrassment. Still, I must admit, I'm very interested in these Dragon Balls. So they're capable of granting any wish? All right, let's go. We're gonna bring Raditz back from the dead? Don't make me laugh. We have no more use for that dead weight. We could wish for eternal youth, for immortality. Can you imagine it? Nothing could possibly stand in our way. Sounds good to me. Count me in! Invigorated by the prospect of attaining immortality with the Dragon Balls, the two Saiyans made their way to Earth. And that is why I brought him here as he is, to be trained further. Therefore, if it is agreeable to you, King Yama, I humbly ask that you allow him to meet with King Kai. Hmm, I see. So you intend to take this heaven-bound soul? 
and subject him to the grueling 625,000 mile long snake way so he can meet King Kai. Indeed. Very well. If you wish to see King Kai, then I suggest you be on your way. However, I should warn you that no one has ever, ever made it successfully, other than myself, of course, in over 100 million years. Must be one heck of a journey. I better get started. By the way, did a guy named Raditz come through here? Yes, we've got him marked down for hell, of course. Did he put up much of a fight? <laughs> he sure did. He definitely didn't go quietly, but I sorted him out. Whoa! You must be one heck of a strong guy! So, you were sent along with him, huh? I am the great King Yemma. I occupy a position above that of the Earth's Guardian. Do you know what that means? That means you're crazy strong, right? You don't seem to understand what I'm saying. Of course I'm strong! But it's not just my strength that serves me in this position. You need brains to do this kind of managerial work. Mana, mana what work? Now then, to help you better understand my work, let's give you a little quiz. Uh, well, um, actually kind of in a- Well then, if that's going to be your attitude, then I guess you don't need to see King Kai. Oh, what? No way! Okay, okay, I'll take the quiz. Why didn't you say that from the beginning? Anyway, let's begin. I'll let you through if you can answer all of my questions correctly. That's right. He made a mess of enough planets to earn himself a place in hell. In fact, he's one of the biggest pains we've ever had to deal with. Right. Next question. Correct. Of course I am. I am much more... Isn't that right? Ah, yes, King Yemma. You are... Right. Next question. That's right. No matter where they're from, all who die come here. Like your brother, he wasn't an earthling. Next question. Not bad. That's correct. Those pesky Dragon Balls are indeed how you do it. I hate those things. It's like my job doesn't even matter. Who created those blasted balls anyway? Care to shed some light on that, Kami? Oh, uh, King... Whatever. Moving on. Sorry, but that's in... Huh? What? This is the fifth question, right? Really? Um, one... Two... Hmm... Of course it was, I... I was just testing you. And you passed the... T well, that was the... There's that trademark denial of his. Hmm... I heard that come. Maybe I'll send you to hell when it's your time. Oh, please forgive me, your highness. Boy, he's got one hell of a sense of hearing. <laughs> oh, you think you're some sort of funny man. Hmm. That's enough of all this. I will allow you to see King Kai. Wow, really? Thanks a bunch, Mr. Yemma. Don't tell me you've forgotten who you're talking to! No, 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 Mr. I'm King Yemma. I haven't! <laughs> That's more like it. If you're going to see King Kai, then go! Well, this is where we part ways. Good luck. Thanks! I'm not really sure what to expect, 
but I'm pumped to meet this King Kai guy. Time to wake up, kid. You've slept long enough. Huh? Who, who are you? Listen up. Time for a reality check. Your daddy is dead, okay? He sacrificed himself to kill the man who kidnapped you, in case you forgot. If his friends are vigilant and able to find the Dragon Balls, they can bring him back. However, we've got other things to deal with. Though we were able to defeat Raditz, it sounds like we've got two of his buddies to worry about a year from now. If that's really the case, your father and I probably aren't going to be enough to take these guys down. We need power. Your power. You're going to have to learn to fight and defend the Earth. Gohan's Crash Course in Survival. But... But... I... I... I I'm no... I'm no good at fighting! Quit your whining! Once I'm done whipping you into shape, you'll be tough enough for anything. Got it? So, you're gonna train me? Okay, what do I have to do? You have to live out here on your own, without distraction. I'm giving you six months. If you're able to survive for that long, I'll teach you how to fight. See ya. Uh, wait! It's scary out here! Don't leave me! I'm hungry. I need food.
Little twerp. Didn't go and get himself killed already, did he? If the little brat dies here, then that's all he'd ever amount to. A little brat. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like someone wants to die. I'm ready whenever you are. Let's do this! Don't kid yourself, you could never beat me. Tch, the great Piccolo reduced to this. Hmm. Looks like someone wants to die. I'm gonna have to whip this spoiled ball of tears into shape. Hmm. Looks like someone wants to die. Looks like someone wants to die. I'll make quick work of you. So that's all, huh? I hope the weakling is prepared to die.
Mm. I'm not at my best. <laughs> Looks like someone wants to die. I guess I'll go see how the little runt's doing. Nothing but a waste of time up ahead. Time to head back. <laughs> what the hell are those things? My kid's probably got his hands full right now. Guess I'll have to take care of them myself. This is a waste of my time. Any more of these things are there?
There, done. Now then, time to check on that little rug rat. Hopefully throwing him to the wolves toughened him up. I'm hungry. I'm so hungry! Little brat. We still don't... <laughs> Fine. Just this... Looks like there's only apples to eat around here. Oh well. <laughs> 